First up, we began with a Fox weather alert. The streets are filling up with rain all up and down the California coast. Here's a look over at San Diego. Sunny San Diego is more like a rainy San Diego. Southern California has already been hit with the worst of the rain today. And I hate to say it, but we've got more rain on the way. And when you take a look at some of the rain that's already fallen across central and northern California, Southern California, just get ready. So over in Scotts Mountain, they picked up on nearly eight inches of rain so far. Over in Honeydew, it's been very close to about seven inches. And over in Manchester, they've picked up up on about five and a half inches of rain. So we still have about anywhere from a half inch to about an inch of rain to come between today and tomorrow. And for those of you that live along the mountainous terrain, look at that. We still got plenty of more snow. And then Nevada and even those of you across Utah could even see some snow as well as some rain. Now, because of the rain, we do have flood watches that are still up, including for those of you over in Chico, Sacktown, and even of San Francisco, Santa Cruz, Monterey, and Mariposa. So please be incredibly careful. If you do notice that the roadway is blocked, we would highly recommend to not go around that because you just never know the danger that is going to be right around at that barrier here. And as we go across Southern California, San Diego, Escondido, as well as San Bernardino, still underneath that flood watch. This is all because of the rain that is to come. And because we could even see some flooding here, we can even see some flash flooding. When you think about flash flooding, it could literally mean the difference between things are dry and within just a couple of minutes because of the intensity of the rain, we could see a number of spots flooded, including over in San Diego, as well as L.A. County, and even those of you up in the San Bernardino area. As far as the winds go, it's been fairly windy as well. Look at Mammoth Mountain. I mean, we have hurricane force wind gusts, 99 mile per hour wind gusts. And over in Lone Tree Towers, they picked up on a 74 mile per hour wind gust. Now, we still have wind gust alerts to tell you about, including this wind advisory for San Diego, Oceanside. We could see those winds gusting up to right around 60 miles per hour. And speaking of San Diego, we have evacuation orders that are already in place in the same neighborhoods that got flooded out last week. They've been preparing for this round while cleaning up last week's mess. Fox weather correspondent Max Gordon is over in uh, the California area riding out this Pineapple Express. And Max, it looks like the rain is only continuing for you. Yeah, absolutely. The rain picked up about two hours ago here in San Diego, and uh, it's been coming down pretty steadily. I do want to mention, though, it looks like we've got a flash flood warning there in the Long Beach area, southern Los Angeles County. Uh, this is some pretty heavy bands of rain come across the L.A. area there. So that's going to be something that we keep an eye on. We've also seen some road closures. Uh, Highway 1, PCH, uh, we've seen a, a closure there. Uh, so, you know, we're already starting to see some impacts down here in Southern California as this Pineapple Express comes ashore and we start to see uh, some flooding concerns. Now, one thing that we are going to keep tabs on throughout the rest of the day uh, is going to be the San Diego River. We're standing alongside it right now. Uh, it is expected to hit minor flood stage later on today, either early uh, or sorry, later on this afternoon or early this evening. Uh, that's when it's going to be cresting. Right now, things are looking relatively calm, but you can kind of see in the debris along the riverbanks uh, how high this water does get. And the water here does rise relatively rapidly depending on the rainfall rates. So this is going to be something that we are going to be keep keeping tabs on. Now, this storm initially hit northern California before swooping its way down the coast. We've seen some impacts up there in the San Francisco Bay Area flooding, um, some street closures, in one instance in Sonoma County, California, that's in the North Bay, uh, a driver had to be rescued by firefighters uh, because he drove into some floodwaters, had to be rescued. Luckily, that guy was okay, uh, and that situation uh, turned out as best as it could. But just a reminder, really, to never drive into those floodwaters. Now, down here in the San Diego area, they've experienced a lot of flooding down here, especially last week. Uh, you know, we had a tremendous amount of rainfall on Monday, January 22nd. 2.73 inches of rain fell over at the San Diego International Airport, the fourth rainiest day uh, in San Diego's recorded history in 174 years of record keeping and the rainiest day ever for the city in the month of January. 
uh, feet of water inundated some neighborhoods that caused a, a, just a tremendous mess. And really, city workers, residents have been cleaning up ever since. Uh, in the past uh, you know, few days, uh, they've been trying to clear out culverts, clear out drains, try to get everything cleaned up ahead of this storm because a big reason why these neighborhoods were flooding out was because things weren't draining pro properly. And so, uh, you know, during this next round of rain, uh, there's going to be city workers uh, out driving around, making sure that the city's drains are draining properly. There are thousands of them all across the city. Also making sure that uh, trees are, are uh, not falling over, that, that uh, if any do, that they're uh, cut up and, and they're taken care of. Uh, but, you know, just a lot of concerns from residents who are still just trying to recover from that flooding event last week. Now, we're expecting between one to one and a half inches of rain, some very gusty winds, 40 to 50 miles per hour here in San Diego. There's going to be a brief break uh, over the weekend. And then Sunday, we're going to see another storm roll in. That one could be even worse than this one. So just a lot of fears from residents here that if this storm doesn't cause flooding, the next one might because the soil is just going to be so saturated with all this rain. Jason? Max, there were some concerns about the possibility of either land flows or even some mudslides. Have you heard any of yeah. that uh, come, come through yet? Uh, no landslides that we've seen so far, but you're right. This is a steep, it's this area, uh, you know, uh, the San Diego area uh, has some steep terrain, uh, susceptible for landslides and, and debris flows. And so, you know, you get some very silty soil and uh, you get a lot of rain on top of it. And sometimes hillsides give way. You know, another problem that we experienced in the drainages and, and in the uh, culverts was that some of the silt from the hillsides was actually making its way in there, clogging things up and, and drains and, and culverts weren't flowing freely. So, you know, a lot of issues posed by just the dirt, something that mm -hmm. you might not really think about when you think about rain events like this. Yeah, well, hopefully we don't end up seeing that, but I know you're on top of it. Fox Weather correspondent Max Gordon, we appreciate you as always.